Okay, so here we have the T Rex uh, 500 ESP and the Micro Beast Beast X fly by system. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up with the T Rex 500. Here is a standard case for the Beast X. I'm just going to show you what, what's inside. When you open up the box, the in here goes the Beast X, but it's on my 500 at the moment so can't show you that and when you take this little cardboard thing out it shows the instructions of setting up it has two foam pads but one of them's on my helicopter at the moment it has a little tool that's nice for changing the pots on the beast and an instruction manual the only problem is with mine it's only in German so I had to print mine off I'll put a link to that in the description and last of all some stickers some stickers that you can put on the helicopter quite nice on the canopy and that's it ok so let's start by showing you what you need to create the flybyler's head just change the view a bit ok here I've bought the main rotor hub the flybyler's blade grips they're actually the opposite way around um, the ball links on this side on the flybar version, um, then some mixing arms go down to the swash plate. Use the same swash plate. Well, then there's no difference. Same main shaft, same feathering shaft. I use the same disc on the top. Um, the only thing that's changed is the main rotor hub, the blade grips, the ball linkages, and these long linkages here, and the mixing arms. And that's it. Right, I'm going to show you the settings for the T-Rex 500. The servos on the swatch plate are the standard DS510s and the tail servo is a DS520. Okay, to enter the setup menu you just hold the black button until A stops flashing, like so. And then you just follow the setup menu. I'm going to tell you the settings for the 500 so that you don't have to look, read through the whole manual. There are some bits that you need to do yourself, but I'll show you most of the standard ones. Okay, for A, which when the LED is on the A section, um, I've chosen it because it's running on a fly machine. I've chosen blue, and that means that it is used for fly -ballers. You can choose red, which means you just use it as a tail gyro but I prefer fly by list. so moving on to B um, the position of installation so that means that if you position it flat like I have on the standard gyro uh, position on the 500 just on the uh, tail boom uh, mount the plastic one um, you can mount it uh, vertical like standing on the side of the frame or something but I haven't chosen an option so I've chosen blue uh, for C this is the servo frequency of the servos on the swash plate now if you're running standard DS510 servos then this status LED should be blue okay uh, for D it's the neutral impulse for the tail servo for a standard again 500 with a DS520 uh, tail servo you should have a status LED of blue and E is just the tail servo frequency for the DS520 which should be blue again and F this is um, where you have to do your own settings. Similar to setting up a normal gyro for the tail, you just move your um, your tail control on your transmitter uh, to the to both limits, left and right. Okay, this is chosen for the direction of the tail servo. This depends on your machine because it depends where you mount. Know which side you mount your tail servo on the boom, so it can uh, change. 
but blue is uh, reversed and red is normal so just depends on what your you've done as your tail server okay H uh, H is a swash plate sub trim so if your swash plate's not completely level you just go on your transmitter and you move the control stick um, to left, right, forwards or backwards, whatever, which one would straighten it out and then you just uh, move on okay so for the I setup menu for the letter I um, for the 500 it should be on mine it is flashing twice red which means it's a uh, uh, the source plate mixing 120 degrees selection 2 so that should make the swash plate tilt the right ways when I want it to. It does depend on your machine because um, the rear servo for the swash plate you could have on either side, so it kind of changes. So you uh, you kind of have to you have to select that yourself. Just make sure the swash plate moves in the right direction every time. Moving on to J. Okay, uh, J you got to get your pitch gauge out and I'll show you this in a minute okay okay so this is what you have to do for um, <coughs> menu I on the setup menu uh, first of all you need to make sure you have no dual rates set up on your transmitter so it's all 100% and what you do is you push the aileron stick to one direction until it um, corrects to six degrees. Now you need to get your pitch gauge out for this, which I don't have at the moment. But all you do is you just hit the. You can see the swash plate move like that, moves both ways. So what you do is you just make sure the pitch is centre, so it's not like that. And make sure it's in the middle, and then you turn swash plate to equal six degrees. Now. On mine, I don't know why, but it isn't showing 6 degrees at the moment. But you are meant to set it up 6 degrees. And obviously with a fly bar machine, you need the special thing on the top in the middle to show your fly bar, which I do have, but haven't got it on for this video. And um, that's really it for menu I.